Hey guys, a lot of you also asked besides sweeping, what do I do for just playing warm-ups? Um, I don't exactly have a warm-up routine per se. I mean, I do a few licks here and there just to get synchronization between my picking hand and my fingers, but really I just do a few things like uh, for my sweeps. Just to get started, I do stuff like It's not the tightest, but I mean, that's really not supposed to be tight. It's just supposed to warm my fingers up. I figured since I was cold, I could show you exactly what I do. Another thing I do is a lot of pedal tones, like... want to try to alternate your fingers with that. Stuff like that. It's not meant to be super tight. Um, another thing I like to work on is a lot of string skipping when I'm warming up. Just simple. At first, just simple. Just to get kind of that. And then I do, I play Erotomania by Dream Theater, just that. And that gets a lot of the string skipping stuff fast, so it's a good war warm out. And then I do a lot of odd time stuff, like stuff in seven. And it's not even a complex, like it's just to get my mind working. I mean, it's just a simple thing in seven, and then I do this thing. stuff like that. I mean, I do just basic picking exercises. And what I use for that actually is I play some, I'll do a lot of Trivium, like early rain stuff, like rain. Just because it's got that odd picking thing. And then just for playing straight pick, speed picking, I do weak wield from all our mains. And then I do a lot of just straight down picks, but I'm not going to go into that. Another thing that a lot of you guys um, should do, I recommend, but that's just me personally, is to do start with upstrokes on like shredding legs, like instead of going one two three one two three down up down down up down down up down down up down up down up down up. To do up, down, up, down, up, down. So I am doing all that starting with an upstroke. And it may seem like you try to switch in the middle of it, but what I always remember is that you're gonna end on an upstroke as well. So slow it be. That's how I ended with the upstroke there. That's just one thing. Another thing that helps a lot with coordination and all all around playing skills. It, and it can get you into some cool odd odd meter stuff, which not many people like, but it's new and you can definitely do thing do a lot of things with it. And that's about it. I do some other little tapping things here and there, but you saw that in my sweeping video that... That thing 
where I use the open string as well. But just to get the slide. Get it all as one. And then a lot of things, though, another thing I work on is just different shapes and things. Just try to be more innovative. Like a lot of people just will just do, like, let's say a G scale. Well, F scale right now, F major, fuck. And I'm not normally doing this up the next, so I'll do it down here. I'm just doing open string stuff, just get my fingers working, get my mind moving. I don't do any of that chromatic stuff like I know a lot of players like John Petrucci do stuff like that. That really doesn't work on the speed of your left hand, so I don't really work on that. But other than the stuff I tell you, I really have nothing much else that I add to my routine so uh, that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and once again stay metal oh and yeah a lot of you guys how I ask why I will hit make like play parts that have 24 frets when I don't have it found out that you can just hit a harmonic there. With the same pitch, I mean you can even tap it like... You can still hear the note, I don't have the fret, but you get the basic idea of it. So I figured why not. Anyway, that will conclude this lesson, and later.